Hey everybody, it's Dave. It's August 29th, uh, Saturday. I, I liked making some of these videos where I just do like little short bursts of, of things that I'm hacking on um, in the command line or with Linux. Uh, and I found this really, really cool program uh, this past week. I'd actually looked at it before. It's called NNN. And it's basically a file manager for uh, the command line. And I'd seen it before and I, I actually kind of dismissed it because I thought it, it just didn't look like it did all that much. And in typical sort of Linux or command line philosophy, it actually does quite a bit. You just have to configure it a little bit. Um, there's a rich plugin system that it allows you to sort of hack on and add stuff to. Uh, and I just want to show a little bit of why I like it so much. So NNN is just a file manager. You just get to it by typing NNN. Uh, and it lets you, you know, move along your file directories like, okay, I want to go in my code directory, get back out. I'm just using normal like Vim style commands here. Uh, you know, I want to get into my Elastic documentation stuff or doc projects that I'm working on. You know, I, I jump over there. Now, the really cool thing about NNN is um, that it allows you to work with these plugin systems and they've got a whole bunch of them uh, that are enabled here and they do everything from like previewing images to uh, you know uh, running certain commands to jumping around they mostly tie in with other command line programs and, and there's a whole lot of them and so I, I'm gonna show one that I've also been using that I really like a lot right now and it's called jump and jump all it is is a program that allows you to just type J and then you can type, you know, some directory name and it's going to take you there. You don't need to navigate through CD or anything. You could just be like, okay, I want to jump to plugins, right? And it's going to jump me to the plugins folder because uh, I was hacking and making, you know, some commits in here. And it, it just knows like, oh, that's where you kind of go to a lot when we type in plugins. So to show how those kind of plugins work with um, NNN, I just typed NNN, I'm in that folder obviously. If I wanted to go back to home, I could type my tilde. So just like, you know, tilde would be your home directory. If you were to CD into it, uh, it would go there. I could also hit the hyphen key and jump back and forth uh, like you would with CD hyphen, which is awesome. But again, the really cool part that comes in here is NNN allows you to have some plugins. So I can type sem semicolon to sort of invoke that plugin system. And then you can see a bunch of plugin keys there at the bottom. These are all just user settable. It's like a key command that you want to set to. So for example, I'm going to use that J one again, just to get me places. So I'm going to say J and then I can type EUI and then that's going to jump me directly to my EUI directory, uh, which is really, really neat. Uh, beyond that, um, uh, NNN also has plugins that will allow you to do things like preview. So for example, I could say that semicolon P uh, and it's going to open a preview window for me and it will do it in live. Now the really, again, this goes back to that like Linux philosophy of things of like just build a really tiny thing, but build it really well. Um, this works really well with a lot of other programs. So for example, this right side that we've got here is actually pulling up a um, that uh, it's t making a preview uh, using bat and bat I've shown off a couple times bat just gives you like it's like cat but it'll output it in a, in a really nice you know kind of formatted way and so now I can go through and do a lot of this type of stuff again other things that you can do really fantastically uh, with NNN is that plugin system so I'm going to hit semicolon and I'm going to type C and for me, that's uh, going to bring up FCF, which is another program I've shown before. And that just allows me to do like very broad based searching. So for example, if I want to go to a tooltip file uh, or something, I can now like find it and be like, okay, this is where I want to go to the directory where this tooltip is. Um, and you can see now again, it's giving me a preview of those individual files. And if I want to, I can open it directly in my editor. Um, which is really neat. You know, I can close this one out. I'm now just in my NeoVim instance and you know, start working and hacking along on the file. The really, really nice thing, again, because these things all work together, uh, is I can actually use NNN within Vim itself. And so I've just got a key sequence so I can say like space N. 
And what that's going to do is bring up NNN in a very small window. So before I used to use something like uh, DEFX or I used to use um, NerdTree, you know, like there's very common programs that people use for like this type of navigation stuff. But now, again, I've got NNN directly in here. So if I want to, I can use those same plugins again and say, oh, I just want to go to my the root of the UI folder and I can jump directly there. Uh, you can also do bookmarks just like you could like, oh, I want to go to my home directory. Oh, I want to go back to UI. Like it makes it really, really fast to navigate these things. Uh, even crazier, you can like do those sorts of commands again. So if I want to uh, preview this notice, I can do that semicolon and hit P and it's going to bring it to me on that side. And suddenly I have a way to navigate the files before I actually decide to open them. The neat part is when this thing's actually within Vim, if I'm to close this preview back up uh, and I start navigating around, if I want to open up this FAC in a split window, again, it's just another key command for me. It's control V uh, and then I'm able to navigate between these files. That's, I, I don't know, this kind of stuff is pretty rad to me. Like it just makes moving around with things uh, extremely fast. Now to show that plugin system again and, and kind of how cool it is, is um, I'm going to quit out of here and you'll notice it brought me back to NNN because that's where we started and I can just quit and, and get back to my current place. So I'm going to jump to that wallpaper directory. I'm then going to open it up with NNN and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke a plugin for it that's just an image viewer and when I do that it's going to open up these images uh, on that side and I can start navigating around and like look at those images that, That's like pretty normal. You're used to that with like a uh, imagery. Here's a picture of my uh, My daughter on top of one of my friends at his wedding. That's a good image uh, So let's say, you know, for example, I wanted to take one of these images now uh, that Ryan one for example uh, and I've made my own plugin that wires up to my own sort of like short URL uh, image hosting service. And so the cool thing is I just wrote a very, very simple plugin uh, and we can look at it if we go to my config plugins directory and let's look at, what did I call it? I think it's called like uh, Dave Cloud. Um, all this one does is it copies the file and it puts it in a watch folder that I've got. So it's in my Dave Cloud in folder. And it, basically I have a very, very small script that anytime that I drop something in that folder, it's going to automatically upload it. It's going to give me a notification and it's going to give me the URL where I uploaded it. So that's, I mean, that's as small as a plugin in NNN can get. And so, oh, sorry, I closed the wrong window on there. Let's go back to wall. Let's go back to NNN and then if I'm in here, I can just invoke that plugin again with semicolon and then I put that uh, plugin to be to a U and so I'm just going to hit U here and you'll see um, that I get my notification here, which is going to give me that JPEG and it's now uploaded where I can send something to person. So, you know, there's obviously ways to do a lot of these things. You could move files around. I could have set up that watch folder. I've used things like cloud app before, but like being able to do all this stuff with just like regular old key commands and, and jumping around and having my Vim, my terminal and like my browser all understand things uh, at that level is pretty fantastic. The other thing too, um, the same author who makes NNN makes a uh, Google terminal service. So instead of running like you know, uh, a normal Google fetch, I can just do something very quick here, which uh, to me, like, I think if I did that same result in Google these days and said, and file manager and uh, did a result, like, I, I don't know, I feel like I'm getting a lot of noise at this point. Like, I, sometimes I appreciate the stuff that they throw here. Sometimes I like the videos that are there, but more often than not, like when I'm searching for something, I just want to get there quick. Uh, and so this is really, you know, nice to be able to just be like, okay, I want to go to that first result uh, and it's going to open it directly in my browser. And even better for me, because I'm using like i3 and all these types of window manager type things, it's already focused and I can just sort of move through. So that's a very, very quick uh, demo of NNN. I think it's awesome. One thing I also didn't show off is you may be wondering why you have um, these um, 
these numbers at the top and essentially all those are are just contexts so you can switch and have like a separate one so for example if i wanted to go into uh, my wiki directory and i wanted to copy this file which i'm just hitting space to select it and i wanted to, to go back to that context too and i wanted to paste it here i'm just going to hit p and there is that file and it's just been copied over and that allows you to like navigate between two directories really cleanly uh, that beats the you know normally if i were on a mac and i was doing something like that i'd be opening a separate finder window i'd then be dragging and dropping and navigating files like i don't I don't know about you all, but I feel just when I'm like navigating folders and like because the it all refreshes at the same time and I can't like search it through key commands, I find it all really slow. So this is just, you know, it's nerdy stuff, um, but I'll, I'll take any little efficiencies that I can and tools that I'm using pretty much all day. So uh, check this one out if you dig it. Uh, I'm going to keep making some little small videos like maybe one every weekend just uh, so people can learn this stuff. See y'all.